Yeah, you can go. Okay, new exercise we're going to do. Kind of an alternative to our RFESSSS. Because we know how much you guys love it. Um, what it's called, step up. So what you're going to do, you're going to find a box. Um, probably about mid height or so. You can use some fences uh, as well, or some boxes. Um, but realistically, when I place my leg on top, my knee should be at about 90 degrees. Just to help some people up here. We also don't want to be here. Okay, about 90 degrees. Uh, I'm going to do one without weight first to start. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to start at the top of the box here. Okay. What you're going to do, you're going to lower yourself slowly, okay, pushing your hips back, so I'm not doing this, my knees aren't flying forward, okay, push my hips back, get to the ground, okay, then I'm going to step up. So before I step up, our focus is the leg that's on the box, not the leg that's on the ground. So what a lot of people will do will be that, this leg is going to be ready, okay, so slow and controlled with this leg, then Point those toes towards the ceiling. That'll reduce the amount that you want to cheat. Okay? Here, drive to the front leg. When you guys step down the bottom, you shouldn't even be putting your full body weight on that down leg. You're really just getting contact so you're getting a consistent range of motion, but you're still maintaining tension to that front leg. So even when he's in the bottom here, he's pushing his heel into the ground and he's trying to keep as much body weight on as he can. Obviously the back leg is going to, so the down leg is going to take a little bit, but you don't want to just come down and stand and let this relax. As soon as you come down and you feel your weight start to go, you want to come back up and drive it through that front heel. Yeah, mainly through this leg. Um, when you add weight, we're going to do dumbbells or kettlebells on the side. It's really important that you stay nice and tall, because what some people will do, well, they'll do that. Okay, so I just let the kettlebells throw me forward. Okay, so step down, come back. So you see he's not launching off the bottom foot there. And this is like single leg with that range of motion with 20 pounds in your hand. This is like friggin' hard. Yeah. And I think you have eight reps, I think. I think it's three by eight. Okay. So go very conservative with these. Um, anything else? Uh, just make sure you stay nice and tall. Again, a lot of people will let themselves come forward. If you can't even do these with weight, don't worry about it because they are actually very hard. Okay. Cool. So, 